Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I've been trying to get her. Okay, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. All right, All right. man, you ready to do this? Can we go hard? Or? Yes, sir. Y'all, yeah, right. yeah. So what we're going to do is, um, yeah, I'm doing the radio we do it. Right. We're doing it radio style, but. No cussing. Yeah, you can, but we'll, we'll take some of the cussing out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we're still doing a podcast now. We're putting it on our YouTube page. Good. I try to and minimize the cussing. Right at now. the end, we're going to um, you know, get you to do some drops and stuff. I got you. Yes, sir. How, about, how long you got? Oh, uh, how long y'all need me? Okay. <laughs> Seven forty eight podcast Woo-hoo. right here with yeah. the afternoon office party. Yeah. Gerald Jabo, Bottle Papa, DJ Fingerprints. What up, what up? We in the building, and of course, we have a guest. We have a guest. That's right. What Somebody. the hell? What? Somebody that everybody in the streets, uh, Jacktown to Texas to Cali to New York to ATL has been looking for it, but they can't find his ass. But he here. They talking about him. <laughs> talk talking, <laughs> man. Right, right. Man, shit about it. But he here with us. Yeah, yes. man, we got yes. Mr. Charleston White in the building. What up, man? Hey, what's up, man? I can easily be found on the phone with 911. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so that's that's what it is, right? Yeah. 911. All right, law, let's. Law abiding citizen. Law abiding citizen. Law abiding, yeah. That's you going we're hard we're with the law abiding citizen yes, situation. All right, let's. Can we get right into it? I want to stay on that side of the street. I'm, I'm with you. I'm that's with it. you on that side. Yeah. I like to walk on the other side of the street, too. So, you or know. just to buy a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta get we gotta pink Excuse elephant. Language, no, no, you good, you good. <laughs> pink elephant in the room. We gotta get it all the way out of the air, man. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, and it, it just got resurfaced back on the, uh, on the internet. You was like, "Fuck Jackson, Mississippi. Right. Fuck y'all, po ass niggas, and all that shit." So, what was that about? Talk to us. Uh, I wasn't talking to the folks that get up and go to work every day, got to feed the kids. I wasn't talking to the mothers that got to take off work uh, to come up to the school and deal with this motherfucker because he's <laughs> fucking up at school. Uh, I wasn't talking to the mothers that spending their last little money to have to drive four hours away to go visit a nigga in prison. Right. I was saying fuck a nigga online trying to represent Jackson, Mississippi and don't do a motherfucking thing in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. That's real. I like that. I hate I a like motherfucker that. online talking about I'm Jackson, Mississippi, but you pee on the corners. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and throw trash out the window and shit. Come on now. Right. And, right. And, 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 and every time you go in the house, you ain't never got no loaf of bread. You ain't got no paper towel. You ain't never stopped to, to, to stop by Ross and get no face towels, no bath towels. You won't even get no fabuloso. Mm-hmm. Right, so no, I, I I I hate I hate for black people, uh, because we're all on the plantation. Texas is a plantation. Mississippi right. is a plantation. Right. So we all just representing the plantation. Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, I, I think uh, one of the most shameful things a, a black man can represent is is, is his city, and in, in, in his hood. And he don't have the admiration from his woman and, and his children and his mother. But what if he ain't got that though? What if he ain't got no mom and no woman and no? It, well, he doesn't take care of his children. Uh, then what? Uh, God ain't left nobody out here by himself. Okay. Uh, there's not gotcha. a human being in, in in life who don't have nobody. Right. You may push the people away that somebody to you and, and force them to become nobodies. Uh, but I I it, I don't believe, man. Uh. Every a person is just out here just by themselves. Right. Everybody right. got somebody. Right. right. Uh, but to represent a city, to represent a uh, represent a state, uh, to represent an apartment complex, to represent a side of town, but you don't do nothing for it. Right. So why are you so honorable about this city? Mm-hmm. Uh, when most of you niggas been to prison, and it says the state of Mississippi versus Jimmy Johnson. Mm. So how can you represent Mississippi when Mississippi gave you this strike? Right. Then you go back into this neighborhood that you say you so love, you willing to die and kill for, but your mother, your children, and the woman you had kids with suffers in the same community that you, that you are so proud of, 
and you don't add no value to it. Gotcha. So I add value to my city. So before I start saying, fuck this, fuck that, I start telling the people in my city, fuck this city, nigga. You niggas right. shooting up old women houses. Right. That's Kids really. is dying. Nigga, fuck this city. Nigga, right. what you niggas proud of? You niggas don't own nothing. You ain't got no grocery store. Ain't no nigga tie shops. Ain't no nigga laundry mats. Ain't no nigga grocery store. Ain't no nigga skating rings. Ain't no nigga <laughs> pools. Yeah. When it's time for the kids to get new football jerseys, the nigga babies got to go stand on the corner and beg strange niggas and white folks to help them. But you just show oh, so you see this. Right. you see this where you're from, too. I see it all over America. Okay. Mm. Okay. This your hood, nigga. But so, the kids, the mm. kids that play football in your hood have to go wash cars over there with the white folks. Mm. But you sell dope over here, you rob over here, you kill over here. And when somebody do wrong in your neighborhood, you don't force them to make it right. You don't make a nigga turn himself in if he shoot an innocent baby. Mm. You niggas let you niggas let this nigga come hang out in the hood and seek refuge. Mm. Right. Under the no snitching rule. No, he right. done killed this baby. Right. No, he done done wrong. No, he done done this wrong, homie. Why, nigga, go turn yourself in, nigga. Right. Or we go kick your ass. If you don't, do, no, we go kill you better. Where do you think, where do you think it, 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 it turned left with that situation? Where, at what point, you know, in the game? Oh, when, they, when, yeah. when, when, when the street niggas start letting kids get into the game. So that's, that's, okay. that's, that's probably second generation crack era. Right. Gotcha. So, Charleston, tell us more about your background. Like, how did you get started? What were you doing before you got into the entertainment industry? Uh, I was working with kids in the community, uh, in Stop Six community. Uh, mm -hmm. I started a youth organization yeah. uh, called Hyped About Hype Youth Outreach. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I read it there. I read, I read about, about that. And Hype is an acronym for helping young people excel. But before I started the, the youth organization, uh, I started on me. Mm -hmm. uh, I got out the streets and... and and how I was able to, to to transition out the streets. Not that I was living, uh, 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 not that I was living a life of crime. Mm -hmm. Right. But most black men, when they don't get up and go to work every day, they keep one foot in the streets, mm -hmm. one foot out. Uh, nigga might try to pimp. Nigga might try to sell weed. Nigga might try to sell coke. Nigga might mess with counterfeit money. Mm -hmm. He just doing something to really trying to figure life out. He's not a criminal. Mm -hmm. He's just doing things, making illogical decisions for whatever need he's trying to meet, right? Mm -hmm. Whether that's a financial need, whether that's a, 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 a self-esteem need because you lack identity. Most black men lack, lack identity mm -hmm. until they get with a woman. Okay. I'm going to say this again. That's true. Most black men, because we don't have our fathers, mm -hmm. we lack an identity until we get with a woman. But what about those who did have a father? Uh, right there. Well, so. it, 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 it's imperative that you have a positive male influence. Right. Uh, because there's a lot of niggas who had fathers, and all they did was inherit their father's abuse. They okay. learned how to abuse yeah. women because their father was there. Right. Uh, they inherited their, their father's failures. The white men ain't going to let you do nothing. No, all them white folks ain't going to let you. So it's a lot of guys who who have a, a, a glass ceiling over their head because they had the wrong men in their life. Right, right. Uh, and, 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 but that still don't take away father in, in, in his position. Mm -hmm. So you become responsible as a, as a kid when you understand right from wrong, whether you was molested, whether you was abused, mm -hmm. whether you had a mother or father. Right. When you understand right from wrong, there ain't no more excuses. There you go. Ain't there no excuse. Right. All right, let's get into the hip hop, the <laughs> beef <laughs> with the hip hop stuff, man. We yeah. got to get into it. All right, the first the first time I noticed you is when they said somebody sp pepper sprayed Soldier Boy. And I was like, "Who did that?" <laughs> you know, and yeah, it was yeah. it turned out to be you, and the more and more I saw you, I was like, "Okay, let's see where he's going with this." And it seems to me that like it's beef. It's just beef. In the hip hop community with Charleston White, it's hip hop against Charleston White, and yeah. like, and then you got like the beef with Ti and Ti's son, and then you switch. Now as this year is Boosie, and it's like you you holding up for Ti. How you explain all that? Uh, I'm trolling. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. the real part okay. about yeah. it. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm I'm trolling, having fun. Okay. Uh, but they take you feel like they taking well, it serious. Well, in my in my mind, I'm the pole nigga. 
who's not a celebrity mm-hmm. fucking with celebrities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. We all do it. Who's right. not celebrities. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. We all fuck with them. We all make fun of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we watch them. Soon as they do something wrong, we're going to ridicule them. We're going to criticize them. And at sometimes we're even going to crucify the ass. Right. Yeah. right They're right. celebrities. Right. They can't hear me. I'm the dog howling at the moon. Oh, <laughs> the moon can't hear me howling. I'm right. down here yeah. on earth. Right. So in my mind, they the moon. Right. They can't hear me in my mind. Okay. When they start hearing me and responding, I said, checkmate. Mm. <laughs> they go, but because, because now they are allowing me to climb my yeah. way in. Right. Right. Really right. Right. By right. them acknowledging me, they are literally reaching down, picking me up, and putting me into their world. Mm-hmm. And that's right. what they did. So do you think it's a, a plight to make themselves continue to keep themselves relevant? No. No, no. If they because I'm I'm looking at it like they this could, is they like would some, silence me. some WWE type shit. Oh, like it's a back and forth. Oh no, yeah. You know. I'm I'm the first black man in America who have publicly disrespected rappers. Mm. I'm the first black man in America to openly and publicly disrespect the Crips and the Bloods. Mm. I disrespect killers, gangsters. Gang bangers and rappers who talk gangster. Okay. I don't bother nobody else. Right. Because those are the elements and the tools of white supremacy. Right. Right. That's being used for mass incarceration, mm-hmm. school to prison pipeline, absent father homes. So I understand what's being used against us. And the number one greatest tool of white supremacy and, 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 and white racism is gangster rap. Mm. Gangs. Right. Nobody. Can can you elaborate elaborate on uh, that a little uh, bit? Uh, nothing, because every every everything about the hip hop culture and gangster rap is to promote the death and killing of black people and the disrespect of the black woman. Mm. Every song, every beat, every drum, every lyric is to disrespect, demean the black woman, and promote the death and killing of the black. Male. All right. That's why you hear nothing but kill, nigga, die, nigga, shoot the block. That's why you hear nothing else. You don't hear I need love. You don't right. hear uh keep your head up. You don't hear dear mama. That's why every young boy lyric is a detriment to another black male. Well, listening to okay, I see your point. Yeah. But listening to like an NWA from back in the day. I mean, you listen to NWA as well as we I did. was an eleven year old kid listening to NWA with Well hell I was but, too. but listen, listen, yeah, yeah. listen, sneaking. Right, that's right. Yeah. That's right. We I all couldn't, at I that couldn't point, openly listen to no, it. Yeah, I was listening to Luke, too short, NWA, too short. Listen, yeah, yeah, listen. yeah, yeah. I so, was listening to it and yeah. acting out the lyrics. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. Gotcha. See, because I wanted to be gangster. Okay. Right? Like it's some kids that want to be killer. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be gangster, and killing just came with being gangster. Yeah. These kids today, because of the lyrics. There's no median for gangsterism. Right. It's all kill. So do you feel like, okay, so in the past, in the past, like your past, what I've read in the past, you actually killed somebody, right? I didn't. I, 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 me and three of my buddies skipped school one day, and, and we went to the mall to steal some starter jackets. Okay. Starter jackets were real popular right. during the 90s. Oh, yeah. You, you're uh, talking our language. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> in the process of us stealing some starter jackets, uh, running out of the mall, my 16-year-old friend shot and killed an innocent white man. Mm. He didn't try to kill him. Right. We didn't set out to kill nobody that day. Right. But we got ourselves in a situation where somebody ended up taking a life, mm. a life being taken. Like I know most kids aren't killers. Right. Most niggas aren't killers. They got in a situation where somebody ended up coming up dead because they made the wrong choice. That's why when they come home after 20 years, that's why when you see them in the interrogation room, they got tears in their eyes. That's why when the judge say rise, they all stand up and rise. Because they're not real killers. So I understand I was tricked as a kid because gangsterism, before gangsterism showed up, we was doing the kid and so play. So you're, blam- you're blaming... I'm not blaming nothing. I'm saying, brother, because of our culture, there's nothing positive about the okay. black culture. I got you. We don't promote right. joining the spelling bee. 
Right. When you I were about to say kid and play. Well, but well, all of this stuff was all at the same time. It wasn't, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I well, mean, well, you're talking about the same era well, of well, hip hop. Well, well, kid and play, kid and play came a little bit before, yeah, before. NWA. Yeah, yeah, they, they were. were. Yeah, they, they were. were. Yeah, that we were. style of music. Yeah, yeah come on, homie. Yeah, we yeah. were, we was doing it. Yeah, 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 we was doing that. Yeah, we was doing all. Wasn't nobody dying in the music. Yeah. Well, right. nobody died in the music till it got to the gangster era of right. the Crips and the Bloods. That's right. But is there a situation where you feel like or think that, like, you know, an NWA is telling the story from the way their viewpoint, their point of view of the way they saw it, and that's how they laid down the lyrics? Nah. You know? We, 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 we would like to propagate that bullshit belief, but it wasn't, homie. Okay. There, there was, there was, they, they was... They was propagating gangsterism from the clothing that they wore. They wasn't telling the story. They were really beating up people. Dre was beating up women. So they were they was drinking. So they was teaching us how to get high. They was teaching us what a strawberry was. We didn't know what a strawberry was. We didn't mm. know that was a dope fiend who was half sell her body for crack. Yeah. We was kids listening to that. Yeah. So guess what? Sooner we get twenty dollars, guess what we were looking for? Strawberry. A strawberry. Yeah. Kids. So when we heard Luke, hey, we want some pussy. Yep. That's a rape song. Me and my homies like to play this game. Some call it Amtrak, but some mm. call Luke it the train. train. Yeah. We mm. all will line up in mm. a single mm. file mm. line and take our time waxing girls behind every time it get to me. I was shit out of luck because I stick my dick in and it will get stuck. The girl will say stop. Listen to this part. Yeah. The girl will say stop. I say I'm not. So let me bring you to 30 years later. I gave the bitch a perk. I took her back to the spot. She didn't even understand me when I told her drop her panties. She didn't even understand me. When a total drop of panties. That's 30 years later. Hmm. Same thing. Hmm. Same gotcha. thing, bro. And I'm pretty gotcha. sure. Uh, I so, mean, so as a kid, listen mm -hmm. to me. As a kid who's trying to have sex, we couldn't have irresponsible sex because we were trying to run trains on every little girl we got. Even if you like to. Come on, nigga, let's see. As a kid from elementary to high school, that's how we found out if you really liked us. Mm -hmm. We all tried to run trains so, on every So, curve. okay, so with you saying all of that, and, and I get what you're saying. Am I telling the truth, brother? You, 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 you make terrible. some valid points, but at the same time, your delivery, the way you deliver it, it's like I, I don't hate give this a, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck Who about. The fuck is this I don't nigga? give a fuck about yeah. no bitch as long as no. I don't give a fuck about no nigga long as my bitches love me. What delivery is more worse than the rappers? I, I don't you. give a fuck about no nigga as long as my bitches love me. That's a, one of the most popular songs by Lil Wayne, Drake, and Future. Okay. One of the most popular songs. Gotcha. Bow down, bitches. Who you think Beyonce was talking to? Mm. She wasn't talking to white people mm. when she was telling bow down, bitches. Mm. So how can the rappers have such a prolific... How can they... Nigga Nipsey Hussle say, I'm going to turn all these bitches into lesbians. Hmm. Nipsey Hussle said, I'm going to turn all these bitches into lesbians. So if the rappers can kill this and smoke Tuka, Tuka was a 16-year-old kid. They got killed. He mm. wasn't in the game. They right. can smoke Tuka for 10 years. Mm. They can do this. Why is my delivery so bad? I'm just giving it to them like the rappers give it to them. I got you. I got you. So getting back to you, um, I was looking at something recently, and I want to know what led up to you asking um, Boosie for a bare knuckle fight? Uh, Boosie too gangster. Uh, not to have no history of no fights. Okay. Uh, okay. uh Boosie too motherfucking gangster. Mm -hmm. Uh, Boosie done. Per Boosie had a 16 year old kid who who's doing a life sentence for nine murders, oh, wow. and Lil Boosie was paying him twenty five hundred dollars for each murder. Mm. See, people got to do the research on Boosie. Mm. It's a kid by the name of Marlo Mike who was battling and dealing with a mental health condition from the mm. time he was a kid who was Boosie's hitman. On his chest, he got Boosie's who's next. He killed so many people. Wow. Mm, he killed yeah. Boosie's baby mama's brother. Mm. He confessed, but then they got to him and he retracted it. Mm. Okay. So now her Boosie is out here talking gangsters, standing on all these G-codes. Well, most people don't know Boosie did not walk the yard. 
Yeah, I saw you say that. I can call somebody right now that was in there with him, see murder slip next to both of them. Boosie did not walk the yard. This kid spends 25 years in Angola from a murder he didn't commit. He know Boosie. He know C. Murder. Boosie was over there with, in protection. He wasn't over her where you really got to fight and see if he really gangster. Okay. Boosie really didn't kill. He was paying a kid to kill. But he talking like he really gangster. It's easy to stand on that shit when you ain't doing it. Gotcha. Have you gotten a response yet? Uh, well, I don't think he could fight. Uh, Boosie is a, Boosie, Boosie is a, Boosie can, can is a, you fight? like a motherfucker. I grew up, I grew, I grew, I grew, I grew up in the boys home from 14 to 21 fighting. Okay, I, so and, up against the wall, and, hands and, out. And, yeah. and I was the gang leader. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, no, Boosie is a diabetic, so he can't fight. He ain't got to win the fight. Uh, when he got shot in the leg, he almost lost his leg. He couldn't stand up and walk. Uh, when I got shot up in the leg, I was doing jumping backs. Dang. How do you handle all of the people? Like you say, you talk about a lot of people. Yes, ma'am. So how do you handle all of that? The the feedback and maybe people wanting to fight you or whatever. Uh, I don't. Uh, people don't want to fight me. Uh, I get a lot of threats online, but yeah. in re- but in real life, I get a lot of love. Okay. okay. That's so good. so okay. so what I realize is, uh, more people are upset online mm-hmm. uh, because the words that I speak convicts them. Mm-hmm. I don't know who, who I'm talking to when I say right. you broke ass nigga. I don't know who I don't know right, if you right. broke. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> yeah, so the, the hit dog gonna always <laughs> holler. Right. So in my mind, I'm not bashing the black woman who wear weave. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of platforms. They whole platform is the black woman eyelashes, her mm-hmm. BBL. Mm-hmm. I don't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not messing with the single mothers. I'm messing with the detriment. I'm confronting head on the detriment of our communities. So when I lay down at night and when I travel, I say, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. I'm speaking against evil. Rappers are evil. Rappers are evil. So are there any rappers that you do like? None. None? <laughs> None. Not one? Not, Not one. one. We got a rapper Old here school? named Kenya, 3955. You don't like him? No, I don't even know him. Never even know him. <laughs> so, 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 this is my question here. Yeah. Who is he outside the rap character? He's That's what I want. No, 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 no. That's what y'all say. But what do his mother say? What do his children say? What do the baby mama and them say? That's how you know if you're a great man. Okay. Not what the other people say. What do the people, your kids say mm. if you're great? Right. What do the school teachers say about you? About you? That's how you know if you're great. Not right. what y'all saying. Yeah. But Get me you, to no, 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 no. We got to really check that temperature, man. Okay, what baby no. mama them saying? Because okay. this some niggas done I, done I, wrong. I don't even baby. think he has children. But well, well, you know. well, 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 this is what I'm saying. Right. When I go to my family reunion, if I stand up and talk, my 83, 84 year old grandmama go listen to me. Okay. It's a lot of niggas can't because for one, a black woman don't want to hear nothing a black man got to say no way. Okay. When I talk, my mama listen. My woman listen. The women in my village listen. It's a lot of niggas when they talk, a woman don't believe nothing they say. That's how you know. That's how you know, brother. And my, I get it. So I most, it, but, most but, baby, this not, but, but listen, listen. So that's why I say nigga don't say nothing to me online. What is your baby mama saying about you while you behind on child support? I ain't never been on child support. Mm. I'm a day one daddy. From the time I shot nut in her and she said she was pregnant. I, I been now. Mm. Nigga, if you've been absent, you can't talk to me. Gotcha. Nigga, if you don't know what it's like to be a PTA dad, you can't talk to me. If you don't take the kids to the library after school instead of dropping, you can't talk to me, nigga. You can't talk to me, son. I don't know. I'm perfect attendance as a father. Proud in a motherfucker. And they don't know what it's like not to have a father. If your kids know what it's like not to be in your house with me, nigga, don't get online and say nothing to me. Now, and, 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 and piggybacking off of that, what about Math Hoffa and you saying about, he's saying that you say he was going to sodomize his six-year-old I, I, daughter. I don't even know who Math Hoffa is, and I never said that. Mm-hmm. I never even said that, brother. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who Math Hoffa is. Got you. First, it was somebody named Hocus Pocus said that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, man, I don't even know you. Then yeah. here come Math I don't even know who Math Hoffa is, my nigga. Right, right. I don't even know if he have children. Got you. I don't even know if he got a son or a daughter. But since he said I said it, yeah, I said it, nigga. I'm in character. It's going to make for great content. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know your daughter, homie. I don't even know you. I don't, I, I've never even heard of Math Hoffa. Got you. But he want to make me. You know me. I don't know you, fam. 
But you, you say I ain't said nothing about you. Because he literally you, addressed it two but days where's ago. The but where's the video? Well, he's got the video. What it's video? The video he's of me saying the, the it. video of me saying I hope your uh, uncle molester. I hope her uncle molest her. Right. I hope her freaky cousin molest her. Right. Not that I'm going to do it. I said I hope a relative do it. Mm. Who who mostly molesting the it's relative, the relative right? It's, I'm, it's a relative. teaching moment if right. they really listen. Right. Mm. If but they really listen. Do you feel like the delivery I don't give just, a fuck about the delivery. I mean, it got, so, 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 I know it so, 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 listen, right? so I know what, but listen, who done right? died? We got babies dying out here. Y'all wasn't fucked up about that? We got a kid that got always fucked up. But 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 the black but 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 if if you fucked up about kids dying, then my delivery wouldn't bother you when you know what I do in real life. Hmm. So do you speak to young men often? Do you go around and speak to young men? High schools, juvenile detention centers. Mm -hmm. I partner with law enforcement agencies. Uh, I just recently done a stop the violence, put the guns down with Griffin County, okay, uh, in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do a lot of work with kids. I, I spoke at. Uh, I spoke at a middle school, uh, elementary school, uh, Sherwood Elementary School, the day of Young Dolph funeral, uh, gave away over thousands of dollars. So I, I, I do a lot with kids. That's great. Right. That's right. why I feel so confident to come online and say whatever. Because so what, actions speak right. louder than words. So what would you say about the, the, the hip hop community saying you, Charleston White, working with, you know, authorities and officials and feds and all that shit? I am. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm working with them to lock niggas up. Gotcha. I'm in. I'm working with them to intentionally lock niggas up and put mm. niggas away for a long time. Isn't that kind of like a like a Uncle Ruckus kind of notion, though? You know. Well, what about the no snitching rule? What about when they kill people and do things wrong and they go back off into the community and say, "Hey, y'all, no snitching." That even carries when they molest people. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't believe in the no snitching rule. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why well, I don't believe well, well, in Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Well, how, well, how can you think I'm an Uncle Ruckus when I'm not a street guy? I want to see criminals locked up. I don't want to see black men locked up. I want to see black men that's committing crimes locked up. Right. I want to see them locked up. Gotcha. They, but because That's fair. That's be, fair. Be, okay. Because for the most part, prison have been the best thing in America for black men. Not college. Hmm. Not the military. Prison is what teaches them niggas not to do wrong no more. Boy, when them niggas come home from prison, I'd be some of the best black men you've ever seen. Her got waves in it. They can read, <laughs> they can read the Quran. They can, they can right. yeah, right. homie, they go to the Jumar <laughs> service. They can stop eating pork. Right. They hell, I recommend prison. I recommend yeah. well, prison I for the black. Be, because in my <laughs> mind, in my mind, it's one of the best places that God has used to preserve the life of the black fool. Because the black boy is a fool when he's a kid, when he's in his 20s. So God sends him to prison so he can preserve him, so he can come home at 40 and his mama can die happy. Gotcha. Have you ever done any time? Yes, ma'am. I've done seven years on a murder case. Oh, okay. For killing. We killed a white man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I pride myself in never having committed any crimes against black people. I've never sold dope in a black community. I've never pimped on a black woman. I've never broken into a black person's house. Uh, all my crimes was predicated across the railroad tracks. Mm -mm. So I pride myself in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. I think when I die, the ancestors is waiting for me to give me a great hug. So I run to death. So okay. you don't fear anybody coming to retaliate no, on you No, ma'am. They reason? put my address online. They put my mother's address online. Uh, I travel around the country. Or I let people book me, and they provide the security. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that man was going to really provide me security. Mm -hmm. But I showed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know if he was going to really provide me security. He said he was. I go everywhere I'm booked, so and you, I ain't afraid of nothing because the Bible says fear no man but God. But there is that threat. <clears throat> I don't give a damn about no threat because because when I was out making threats, I wasn't afraid. Mm -hmm. When I was out threatening people, doing this and harming, I wasn't afraid then. Well, okay. so here's the question. Like, if you ever... You know, have you ever been in a situation with the Boosie or a, a, yeah. a T.I. And, yeah. and all those people? Like, you've been in the same environment with yeah. them. Yeah. What, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Did anybody talk or chop it up Nothing. or none of that? Nothing. 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 Because right. people are only mad online. This is what I know. When I say something online, by the time you see me, you didn't have a problem with your baby mama. You got a problem with your parole officer. You struggling paying your rent. You, your, you're referring to the rappers. I'm referring to anybody who's mad about what I done said. Right. Who want to hurt me. Right. By the time you see me, you got stuff in your real life that's affecting you way more than what I done said. And I know this for a fact. Mm. And by the time you see me, you unprepared to do what you really want to do. 
Plus, you don't have the same feelings no more. For one, I didn't slap you. I didn't kill your mama. I didn't run off with your money. You just had those emotions for the moment. But guess what? By the time you finish your day, it's life kicking your ass. Mm. You really ain't got to worry about me. You trying to worry about me. But you got life problems and life situations and life circumstances really got you wanting to give up on life. You just trying to fuck with me as an escape. <laughs> gotcha. So what made you start this comedy thing? Right. Uh, Dolomite. I, 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 saw, I saw the movie. <laughs> uh, I saw the movie Dolomite. Okay. Uh, when Eddie Murphy, Ray Moe. Yeah. When I, oh, I up, Eddie Murphy's version. I, Eddie Murphy's version. Okay. I, I grew up believing that Dolomite was Dolomite. I didn't know Rudy Ray Moore existed. Right, right. That's right. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, I, I thought you. Dolomite was right. a real That's nigga. Right. That's right. And this is what I mean by I grew up believing thinking rappers was gangsters. I grew up believing thinking Easy E, Ice Cube, all the gangster rappers was real gangsters. Right. I thought when they went to jail, they told the guards, "Fuck you, guard." <laughs> <laughs> I thought when they went to court. They did like a mad dog did yeah. on Good Time. Right, Good Time, yeah. Put the yeah. gum up under the seat, <laughs> right. smack his lip. I thought that's what they did. Mm. I didn't know them niggas went down there and got a broom and swept the halls like everybody else. Mm. I didn't know gangsters really snitch. I didn't mm. know that. I grew up believing that these idols, these guys, was really what they were professing to be. Right. I didn't know Ice Cube was really an educated guy that could write movies that yep. was just writing gangster raps. Mm. I didn't know Tupac was really a poetic theater arts guy who yep. was really playing gangster. He really wasn't gangster. I didn't know that. Mm. So I grew up believing Rudy Ray Moe was a nigga who bra talked about raping white women because he bragged about raping white women, kicking a white bitch ass. He talked. So I thought it was a nigga existed like Rudy, like that in real life. <laughs> Only to grow up to find out everybody playing. Mm. Everybody playing but mama. Right. Everybody playing but mama. Mama coming home and you seeing the real. The gangster uncles. The gangster stepdaddy, all them niggas playing. Mm. When they come from visitation and the guards say, take your clothes off and let me look in your booty, they spread their booty. <laughs> and when he say squat and cough, they squat and cough. I didn't know they did that, my nigga. So when I saw Dolomite, it's like a light came on. I said, God damn it, boy, everybody playing a character, even the preacher. Oh, even yeah. the preacher oh, yeah. on yeah. Sundays, he go in the character. Right. And guess what? Right. Even mama go in the character because she be sad and miserable and got to play happy. Mm, right. So it hit me. Here I am online, traveling around the country, working with over 50 U.S. congressional members to get united, to get juvenile life without parole abolished in this country. I'm speaking at some of the most prestigious college universities in America. Some of the most prestigious, nigga, I'm working with the United States Department of Homeland Security doing trainings. I'm training the state, and I'm saying I can't get the attention that I need that they sentenced 12-year-old kids to life without parole in America. Mm. Nobody knew that. Here I am going to Washington, D.C., to the Supreme Court. Man, bow tie. Mm. I never cussed. Wouldn't smoke weed. And then I saw that movie. God damn it, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's like a light came on. I'm the new Dolomite. I'm going to talk about killing white folks, raping white people, only to make these motherfuckers look at the conditions of black people. How can y'all be so offended by what I said and y'all been dancing and listening to rap music for 40 years? 50. 50 years. How can y'all be affected? How can y'all say, well, his delivery, what's more negative and more uglier than a rapper's delivery when he call a black woman a bitch? Gotcha. Suck, I'm going to get you and your sister and make you and your sister have incest so I can have a threesome. I'm going to promote homosexuality to the black women by way of lesbianism, but I'm going to shame the man on man, but I'm going to promote the girl on girl. Come on, y'all, let's be real now. Who done done the black woman worse than the rapper? I ain't said nothing to the black woman. Mm. Y'all crying over what I'm saying about the man. Mm. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But words hurt the black man because his mama called him ugly. His grandmama was tired of him. His father never said, I'm proud of you. So words hurt him. He's an emotionally responsive black man. That's why he'll kill you if you say what's up in the wrong words. Wow. That's why he'll beat the woman up if she call him a broke-ass nigga. He'll break her jaw. But they so fucked up about what I'm saying. 
Listen, all right, man. Damn, you you've said a mouthful. We definitely well, appreciate well, well, you. Well, 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 this is what I, so so this is what I want to tell everybody. Right, right. Y'all so mad about what I'm saying? Y'all ain't did one protest for Shaquilla, Shaquilla Robinson that got beat to death by our friends in Mexico. Yeah, right. that's real. Y'all ain't kicked up now, motherfucking dust. But y'all mad because I'm talking about a nigga daughter that I ain't know he had daughters. Mm. Yeah, I didn't. Even, but y'all watch this woman get beat. Mm. Beat. No, they lied. Where y'all mm. angry at? Because y'all don't lie. Y'all, uh, see, if y'all got offline, y'all really wouldn't be mad about a motherfucking thing <laughs> I'm saying. Because most of y'all live below or at the poverty line. You financially struggling. Po rich motherfuckers ain't mad about what a nigga saying online. They got businesses to run. Yeah, the yeah. woman that's running the household don't give a damn about what I'm saying. Those are the poor people that's stuck in the ghetto. Mama's on Section 8. Kids get a free lunch. Niggas with felony convictions behind on child support. Ain't never had their own place. Don't know what it's like to get the two sets of mail by key and the top lock and dead <laughs> lock when you sign that lease. Those are the only people mad about what I'm saying. A poor motherfucker in the ghetto and I ain't nowhere in the ghetto. That's why I ain't worried about getting killed. Mm. I ain't nowhere in the ghetto. Man, we definitely appreciate you. How, mm. how can they get in contact with you? How can they, they follow you? Because... I don't even really know your, your your full social media. Oh, they keep deleting them. I just lost 127,000 uh, followers. Yeah. On, they, they keep deleting them. So just, right. yeah, just keep following the fake pages. They'll find me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but definitely, man, tell them what you're doing tonight in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, man, we got a show tonight, man, at Trio, man. If I'm not mistaken, it might be another sold-out show. So they're going to get to come out and see the funny Charleston White, not the uh, provocative, controversial. Not the rowdy one. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, well uh, each... Uh, we all wear many different faces. Right. So you, you got to know where to put the faces. Mm -hmm. there you go. So so the whole objective, uh, my whole goal was for me to come online and, and eventually go to comedy and, and then in the movies. So okay. while people watching me do certain things, I came with a plan and, and a strategy. Uh, from the beginning, I've been telling everybody I'm playing a character. This mm -hmm. is a role of a character I'm playing. Sure. The internet gave me the name. I couldn't think of the name. The internet said, oh, he look like Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. Oh, he a rat. He Rat Williams. So they yeah. gave me the name. So I took Rat Williams and I branded Rat Williams. Uh, they said I'm a snitch. So now I take the snitching on the world road and making it comical and, and comedic. Uh, and now I'm trying to work with law enforcement to come up with a new uh, kind of like McGruff kind of character, uh, okay. a Rat William snitch kind of oh character. My gosh. Then eventually, <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Then, then see, eventually, man. this snitch character go go into a movie. Nigga, the funny nigga standing on the porch snitching and telling on everybody. Right. Uh, the nigga walking through the neighborhood buying weed and telling on everybody that's selling bad weed. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I came with a concept and, and I came with, a, with 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 an idea and, and a plan. Uh, and the plan was never to just be stuck on on, on the internet. So I wanted, I wanted to transition to the stage. All right, man. We appreciate you stopping by the 748 Podcast after the office party. Judge Bo Bottle Papa, DJ yeah. Finger Prince. Yeah. Say, y'all, this is a black-owned radio station. Yes, I ain't sir. seen now white person in here. Not that we got nothing against <laughs> white folks. Right. But boy, for us, by us, yes. with us, we and love us. It. We'll we never lose. That. Yes. All right, man. This is the 748 Podcast on the Urban City Podcast Network. Y'all keep it live. Urban City Podcast.